Last day of the show, we're trying to get as many RVs as we can. We're gonna walk through it as if it were alive. Because we can't go live because we don't know what's going on in some areas. So we found out. Okay, so we did talk to some other folks about what they're doing about their lives. And we found out, like for example, Matt, we asked him, there are a lot of spaces and places around here at the Hershey Show where you cannot go live. You can't. And what Matt does is that when he gets here on Monday, he records like he's doing a live right and then he puts it out as a premiere right on youtube so it's not really a live but he doesn't edit it or anything like that so maybe next year john we can give that a try sure okay so do you want to do that now well let's go here we have an rv that somebody asked us for this is a thor chateau 28a 28a now, hey, I, there's something really cool about this on the outside. Oh, you want to show the price first? Yes, let's show them that. All right, here's the price. It is $89,966. Um, and, and, and we should probably put a disclaimer on this thing. We are not huge fans of Thor. <laughs> we tried a Thor, our first Thor, the last RV show that we were at, and it had a leak. And it just was not a good look. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll find something different this time. Right. Maybe this is better. All right, John. Let's take it away with the outdoor kitchen. Oh, there is an outdoor kitchen on this one. And it's a nice... Look at this. This is a two-burner griddle, a Greystone. And it comes with this powered cooler here with two sides. I guess you have a refrigeration and freezer side. Look at that. That is actually... I'm surprised it's on... It's wait, on wait, this. wait. I dropped my pen. Oh, no. I dropped your okay. pen. <laughs> and it's on this, um, this cool little slide out here. And... I just like that. That's very convenient. And look at the. Uh, okay, so it's an awning with LED lights. Let's check out the inside, John. Yeah, let's go in here. Now, John, right here, you, I think you have your battery under the steps. And then the cargo carrying capacity, I do not see on this door. Uh, can we open this up and see if maybe it's behind the screen? Sure. No, not. Yeah, right there. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. It no. might be on the passenger door. Let me check the... Oh, that's right. It's a Class C. It is not a Class A. This is something that we're really trying to get better at, folks, showing you this. And once again, John, you know I don't have my glasses. Oh, here we go. Uh, 3,495 pounds, folks. That's what we've got. Yeah. And this RV is, I believe, 29 feet, 6 inches. I think so. Inside, John. Uh -huh. Inside. Goodbye. Go do your thing. <laughs> my thing. Your thing. All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But first, while you're getting into your seat, I'm just going to kind of let everyone see what this looks like, walk through it, so you can get, get an idea of what the layout is like. All righty, John. Go <laughs> for it. You know what I miss about doing things this way? What? I love the comments. I oh, love the, yeah. the chats that people have while we're doing it. I love that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is on a Ford chassis. It's the E-Series chassis. Uh, I'm not sure which one. It doesn't have it on the outside. And this has all the hands-free items you'd have in a car. And of course the airbags on both sides. Has your touch screen, your radio here. Something about this console here in the center I really do like. Is that seat comfortable? Actually it is. Okay. So backing up right above John's head, we have your bunk right here. Of course this pulls out and makes bunk you have a very nice size television here which you can you see can you move that out John at all the TV I'm sure I'm sure you can yep so you can swivel it so you can watch it from this dinette or you can watch it from the couch yes cool now it looks like is there storage underneath the couch no no okay it's under probably the dinette? right here yeah it's under here where show us John show us well it should yeah. open it has a hole there but I guess not Maybe I'm just weak or it's not a storage bin. You didn't have your Wheaties today. I didn't have Wheaties. Hey, you know what? Speaking of Wheaties and breakfast, <laughs> we just had a great experience this morning, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Someone paid it for it. I don't know, just some people we started talking to as we were sitting down having breakfast with my brother and sister-in-law, yep. and they bought us breakfast. You know why? They didn't even tell us on their way out. I owe it all to Bucky. Oh, Bucky's great. Okay, John, let's continue. <laughs> They're going to wonder why. Let's go, John. <laughs> All right. Let's go, John. This let's is go. not bad. I mean, it's a little firmer than most. 
But it's not bad. Does it make a bed? Well, let's see. Let me move my stuff out of the way. Yeah, get your stuff out of the way, John. You know what? I'm you need to learn how to travel light like me. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Makes a jackknife bed. Jackknife bed. bed. Fits one person. Barely fits one John, though. Yeah, it, it's a short person. It fits John on an angle. It fits children. <laughs> it would fit me. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm three inches shorter than you. That's true. Mm -hmm. And then we go across to our table. Which also becomes a bed. Yes, it does. Yep. And it's a pretty good sized table. And let's That's see what these cabinets are like up above you. Yeah. Oh, they go all the way through and they are very big. They are. Check that out. You have TV connections up here too if you want to put something else, attach something to your TV. Now we're gonna go to my area and we're gonna look at this kitchen. I think for an RV this size, they did a pretty nice job with this kitchen. And I'd like to see more prep space here though, but you know, class, sometimes you just don't get those in some of these RVs. So a nice deep single bowl sink. This is a nice fixture, no complaints on that. Different color. It is a different color. It's not the black or the, the chrome. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's like a dark steel. Yeah, it's nice though. It is I do nice, like I that like color. that. And then we have a two burner cooktop here, which John is going to, there we go. John's taking back over. <laughs> it's got a three burner Furian cooktop with an oven down below. And then a regular microwave. Is that a mi regular microwave? I'm guessing yes. it is. Yep. All right, John, uh, how about we switch places so we can go to, oh, John wants to point out this hood here. <laughs> you have a with hood. With the fan yes. and the light. And you have extra storage in the kitchen. Okay, John's, John's telling me I need to slow down because I'm trying to go to the bathroom. We I have know, you kitchen. are trying to go. Did you check out this big giant Of course cabinet? not, John. I'll stick to the camera work. Okay. And then three drawers on this side. How about we switch places? Yeah, let's show them this. This is a contour refrigerator for the freezer. Now, split bath. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> there has got to be some separation between the kitchen and that shower, because if I have guests, I don't want them watching me in the shower and they don't want to watch me in the shower and John figured it out. Okay, thank you, John. <laughs> it has a magnet, so the door turns into a, a partition. All right, hop in that shower. Wait, uh, wait. <laughs> you need a step ladder? <laughs> Yeah. Let me know. Yes. Let me give a boost in there, maybe. I need a step ladder. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have a handle that you can hold on to somewhere so you pull yourself up into the shower. It's not too bad, especially since this is flexible. I can kind of just, you know. But, yeah, I think this is a, it's only a little bit taller than me. Yeah, you'd have to stand, like, if you're much taller than John, you have to stand right in the center of the skylight right here. Right in the skylight. Yep. This is not adjustable. Whoa, John! I'm breaking <laughs> stuff me. already. This is not adjustable. It stays right there, unless you pull it off. So, yeah. Um, hey! <laughs> you can come out. I can't lock you in this one. <laughs> All right, so let's, to... let, me, let's, let me get Ooh. over here so that I can see what's in this <laughs> side. <laughs> Stop! Tripping. Don't hurt yourself. It's the last day of the show. I know. All right, come on, John. Show us this bathroom. All right, this is quite a high pedal. This is a little bit too oh, wait, high. Wait, wait, you saw it. <laughs> Look at those feet go. Look at those John feet go. I'm sorry, John. I'm just having so much fun. Is that porcelain or plastic? It's that porcelain. That cannot be a comfortable position. Maybe Will you put I, your feet up? I, you, oh, really? <laughs> sit back. Can you, can you put your, no, no. Sit, turn around, turn around. You see the, 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 the put your feet oh, up there on that platform. There's like there a, you go. Squatty. It's like having a built-in squatty potty. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, you show us the rest. Like this. She figured it out. Mm -hmm. And then a stainless steel sink and fixtures. Pretty deep storage there. And a shelf behind me. And some counter space. And your medicine cabinet. All right. And there's a little hook up there for a It looks a like, towel. does it push in or something or pull out? No, it's, it's just, just a, a hook for a towel. <laughs> okay. That's it. And then you have your water heater controls and your lights here. Okay, John, I'm going to back up, yep. let you out, close that door, and then we'll take a look at the bedroom. Oh. Well, okay, that was... <laughs> Excuse me? Ah. <laughs> All right, yes, it's kind of tight in here. <laughs> I'll go to this big side over here. This is, oh, this is more room here. 
Well, you can walk around the two sides of the bed, but it does have this little carpeted area here. Actually, I could probably use that in the morning just to get dressed. Sit here. I guess you could, John. You What's could. behind you? This is a wardrobe. That's and it true. has an extending ladder in here. It has a couple of large drawers. But I don't see... Oh, there's a power outlet 110 down below here. So you can use this to put your CPAP on, I believe. I mean, it will Hop work. on the bed. You're going to need to do that to get over to the other side anyway. <laughs> yeah, with you there. Is it comfortable? It's a bit firm. Okay, you don't look very comfortable. There's a couple of lights above me. We'll turn one on so we can see it. Well, let's see if the... Uh, yeah, All right. Are. And then above you? Oh, yes. Storage. It goes through. Now, I forget, John, when you were sitting over here, were there any outlets or anything on yeah, the side? Yeah, there's a 110 down below the bed. Okay, I gotta see how that looks. Like, is it on the bed frame somehow? Yes, it is. Oh, I guess it is. And there's one over here, As but, well? there, but there's also one there with a 12 volt. So you have the one wardrobe on that side, and then you have an end table on this side. And a small wardrobe here. Oh, you do have a wardrobe up here. Yeah. Okay, how did I miss that? I, somehow I just wasn't. And seeing. one drawer on this side. All right. And then because you, have, you get this extra space here with the uh, right the, the shelf. So like if you have a CPAP, I guess it would make more sense for the person with the CPAP to sleep on that side. It might, yes. Okay. This it looks like this bed lifts up for some storage. Um, I don't think. So. This is not a storage compartment. No, this is just a I piece guess it of doesn't. wood. It's screwed down, so it must be maybe access for to something. Yes, this is not a storage compartment. Yeah. I saw that. Now, John, <laughs> I noticed that when you were, came in here on the bed, I guess right here is where you could put another TV if yes. you plan to purchase one. I'm guessing that is an option. And you have a thermostat. Back and there's your thermostat. Here, temperature control. Yes. Two windows, and they both open for some cross yeah. ventilation. This is your emergency escape. Now, what is that button back there? Way in the back. Where? Is that a button or a hole? Or what is that? That's a 12 volt connection. Did you already say that? Yes. Okay, I really need to pay more attention when you talk. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a first. <laughs> <laughs> Probably right. Hey, okay, so we showed the inside. Oh, we didn't look up here. Let's no, up there. above the doorway is a deep storage cabinet and two more above the uh, lounge here. And there's a little basket with USB chargers, so you can actually put your phones in there. Now, because we're at the show, you know, normally we like to show the wet bay and everything else, but right. these things are parked very close together. They are danger close, yep. so we, we can't get over there. All right. Hey, John, so I'm just kind of curious. I mean, for lives, we don't normally do, like, build quality ratings or anything like that, but I just no. want to know what you think about this and the price point. I'm actually surprised at going through and handling things. It's uh, tighter than I expected. Um, I'm just surprised that there's no storage under these seats or the bed. Yeah. That's and then unusual. I'm seeing things. We're not looking at the build quality rating, but I am seeing a lot of things that are a bit concerning, like with the way this is all put together here. I'm not sure whether or not the camera picks it up, but it's a really, really sloppy job. Yeah, well, it's a good price point. But I'm seeing it all throughout the RV. But it is, you know. Yeah. Okay. On All right. To next. All right, guys. So this was a viewer request. And because we couldn't do it in our live, we did it in our not so live live. This was the Chateau 28A. Oh, and there's one more thing outside you forgot. What? Let's show them this storage compartment here. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. So you do have this as well. Yes. <gasps> All right, folks, well, that's it for this one. It is on to the next one. And if you want to see more RV tours or some more of John's beautiful face, check out this video right here. Are you sure it's going to be here? I am positive. I'm the one that puts it right there. Oh, okay. <laughs>